friends. Uh, today is Thursday evening, so this is going to post for you Friday morning. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and kind of spend a little time hanging out. Um, nothing really special, just I wanted to answer some questions and talk with you guys because it's been kind of busy for us. We had the hurricane and then I was out of town and I haven't really got to just, um, just talk. So uh, I'm gonna cook a little dinner tonight and I'm just gonna try to answer some questions that I saw in the comments and just talk with you guys. So if you wanna hang out with me, and Tony Soprano, isn't he much more calm than he used to be? I couldn't even hold him like this without him freaking out. And now I can talk with my hands and I can move my hands around and he doesn't try to bite me. So he has definitely calmed down a lot. All right, so if you wanna hang out with us, come on and uh, spend a little evening, afternoon with me and Tony. And Robert will be home in a few minutes. cherry tomatoes that's going to go in my salad also this is going to go for my salad i'm going to chop up an onion for my meatloaf so this is what i'm going to chop for my meatloaf and i'm going to wash it because the last time i didn't wash it somebody said if you didn't wash your vegetables you probably got all kinds of pesticides on them well i know i don't have pesticides on my green bell pepper but I'm gonna wash the other ones just to make sure. Just to make sure. All right, got that done. So, I haven't been chewing gum for a while. Let me tell you what happened to me. All right, so let me just say this. When I was going through chemo, I had to take this one adriamycin and it was, they call it the red devil. It was uh, this red chemo liquid and it just put the worst taste in my mouth and I would get those mouth sores. But I'm not, I'm just, I'm just going back in time to explain to you why I chew gum. So I got to where I would chew gum a lot to keep that nasty taste out of my mouth. So anyway, now I'm kind of addicted to gum. I've just been chewing it throughout the years. I like it. It also takes away sometimes my hunger pains. If I'm at work, I chew some gum and I've just gotten to where it's, I always have it. But I thought I had this earache and it was going on uh, when we were taking the RV up to Uvalde. I told Robert, I was like, I, don't, I haven't had an earache in like 20 years and I woke up with an earache and I couldn't figure out why I had this earache. So after like three days, I called, um, because we were in Uvalde, so I called Teladoc. It's a service that my insurance su supplies us with. And I called Teladoc and I'm like, I have got the worst earache, it hurts so bad. And so uh, he sent me in some drops and I took the drops like every day for about four or five days and it just wasn't getting any better. So then I called back and I'm like, I'm taking the drops, it's not working. So they said, well, maybe it's an inner ear and we're gonna send you some antibiotics. So I was on the antibiotics for another, probably almost a whole week. And we came home from Uvalde. The first thing, the next morning, I was at my doctor's office. And I, <laughs> so it come to find out, I did not have an earache. I had uh, this TMJ, like some kind of a jaw situation going on. And I haven't really heard of that before. I've certainly never had any issues with that before, but Anyway, it can be caused by stress. And I was kind of under a lot of stress when we were getting ready to move the RV. There was just a, a lot of stuff going on. With the, uh, you know, I was working outside so hard trying to get everything done. And then with uh, Bob, my father-in-law's, Bob's truck had an issue the day before they were coming down here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to get the RV moved. 
So they said it could be from like grinding your teeth in your sleep, but I sleep with a night guard. So I don't usually grind my teeth because I do have a night guard. Anyway, I have, they told me do not chew gum. That can aggravate it and make it worse. And of course I've been chewing gum for like the whole time. I thought I had an earache. And so <laughs> I've quit chewing gum for, it's been about, uh, I don't know, it's been about almost two weeks now. And no I got gum. everything chopped up here. This is uh, chopped up tomatoes from my garden. Uh, what I do with the tomatoes, I don't like pickle them, or I just put them in a bag and I freeze them. And then when I'm ready to use them, I let them sit out for a few minutes and I just chop them up. So I use them for cooking. And then I have onions and my uh, bell peppers here. And then I have a little tomato sauce. I've put a little bit of Worcestershire and a little bit of soy sauce so far in my hamburger meat. And uh, everybody makes meatloaf different. I know my mother-in-law makes it very different than I do. My mom makes it different. Kill, my sister makes it different. I, I, I just like to put a lot of stuff in my meatloaf. <laughs> I don't know why. My boys like it, right? We cook for our family, and my family likes it like this. We have to cook things the way our family likes them. So other people's family may not like it. My family likes it with some chunky vegetables. And then I add my, put the egg in there, and then I add some minute rice. Then we're gonna put some, a little bit of some garlic salt. And then I'm going to put some black pepper because my husband loves black pepper and everything. Black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. This here it goes on top. Now we just got to, you know, grind it all up. I wash my hands before I suck them in the bowl. I want you guys to know I'm trying, I try to be as healthy and, and clean when I cook. I want everybody to be healthy. Uh, so yes, I, let's talk about my training in Round Rock. Uh, a lot of you have people you know that live in Round Rock. I didn't get to explore all of Round Rock because we were in a company in our school vehicle and um, you know, we just had to go straight there. We did not get to stay at the Kalahari Resort, which I actually thought I was going to quite honestly. And then I realized just the day before the trip that, um, we were at the embassy and I think it's because there was more people going than they expected and the rooms were very expensive at the resort. But we were only 10 minutes away and it was fine and we were in a school vehicle so we didn't have to you know, use our own gas or anything. But I learned a lot. I do not speak fluent Spanish. That was a question a lot of people ask me, do you speak fluent Spanish? Uh, I speak a poquito espanol, a little bit of Spanish. My husband told him I see him looking in my window. <laughs> Robert's peeking in the window at me. Um, look who's here. <laughs> Just made it home. Just in time. Just in time. Just in time. Make a meatloaf? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, meatloaf. I told them my fam I make meatloaf for my family because everybody makes it different. My family likes it some ways, and other people like it some ways. She makes good meatloaf. Yeah, it's good, because we've been places and had meatloaf, and he doesn't like it. So I know he likes my meatloaf. Yes. That's what's important, right? That's what's important. Yes, that's what's important. Would you take that can and dump it over here, since my hands are very clean? Yes. Just back and forth. Just like this? Perfect. Uh, Y'all know somebody in my comments, I'm going to tell you what they said to me. And I don't really understand why. Put that eggshell in there. But um, they said, when I, I guess what I was, when I showed y'all like my, I got new pants. Look at my new pants today. I was wearing to the thing. Somebody said, it's about time you put on pants. You're always in shorts. <laughs> I was like, what? We live in Texas. Yeah, but when I go to work, I wear, I don't wear shorts to work. So I thought that was kind of crazy, but I'm like, oh, no, whatever. It's ready. Oh, it's ready. Don't need to go in there, baby. Right, here we go. Got it? I got it. All right, I'm going to wash these hands. How was your day, love? I'm busy. Did the uh, roofer call you? Yes. So, we have a little issue. Um, 
Not with, okay, so the, you're gonna think that the issue was with the leak in the laundry room. No. That was not a roof leak. That was, we have a vent from the dryer that goes on the side of the house and the wind was coming in sideways. It was hitting that vent. So it was coming down through that blue out vent. Yeah. That was not a roof leak. However. It was just the rain was going sideways 70 yes. miles an hour. <laughs> we did find there was an issue in our roof, but it was before the hurricane and it's leaking around this. Yes. Where the uh, exhaust. blowout exhaust is. The and vent hood. Yeah, around that somehow it's leaking down in there. Not bad, but we've got to get it fixed. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed. So Bennett went to school with a young man who now has a roofing company and um, I messaged him and he said he was he does roofing and, and he could look at it. So I gave him Robert's number mm -hmm. to call. And he called me. So he's gonna try to come four, after 4 p.m. on tomorrow, Friday. Oh, tomorrow after four. Okay, so, so. hopefully he'll, uh, you know, because we had a hurricane and you guys know with Buddy and Steph, they had a tree in their roof. So many people, I have a very good friend of mine at work that got two trees literally right in the middle of our house. Mm. And it's just been really devastating. So you have to be careful because there's a lot of scammers out there that are taking advantage of people who are having like roof issues right now. It's sad to say, but it's people will, very sad. when somebody's in need, they will. The bad people come out of the woodwork bad, yeah. to take advantage of that. Well, we noticed that personally, yeah. so he's going to come over, take a, assess the damage, and we'll talk about what uh, steps need to be taken to uh, take care of the roof leak. Well, that's a good thing, yeah, because um, we need to get that fixed yes. for sure. Another project I go on, I'm going to paint my fence. <laughs> Our privacy fence between us and the neighbor. Uh, Not we, that one. Oh, the front fence. Oh, the wrought iron fence. Oh, I thought you meant the privacy fence. No, no, no. Because we talked about putting another coat of stain That's on another that. job I gotta do. Yeah, so our wrought iron fence in the front. We'll, we'll yeah. take you out there and show you. Actually, we can show you right now. Come on. <laughs> it's been out there for, well, we're gonna go out there. So we're gonna let the chickens out first before we go and show you the fence. The chickens, we've been letting them out. We call it recess. They've been coming out every afternoon mm -hmm. having recess. Yep. And then um, about 8.30 when the sun goes down, we walk out with their food and they come running back. So it's kind of cute. So we're going to let them out now and then we'll close out our video tonight when we put the chickens up. So let's go let the chickens out. Let's go let them out. They're building a house on the corner. That's what you hear, all that nailing and hammering over there. Mm -hmm. They're excited. Look at them. Look, how excited Look they the hair is coming. Oh. Who wants to come outside? Who wants to come outside and play? They've eaten that grass. Everybody says cool. you should put wheels on that thing so you can move it easier. I need to, I need to, I need to. Those are good ideas to put some. Yes. But you have to make them small because if it's too tall, they'll get out. Correct. Tony Soprano, you back up, sir. Come on out. Come on. Run, babies, on, run. run. They go right for that grass. <laughs> we call that one the, the Broad Rock, I think, how you say it. We call that Rocky. Rocky. We named her Rocky. I named the white one Weddle. Well, I call her Blanco. It's he Weddle. calls her Weddle, which is a slang name for white, but I say Blanco. And there then, um, there she is, widow. Yeah, I, th I think they're all girls. And then this back here is feathers because she's got feathers on her feet. This little gray and white one right here, mm -hmm. feathers. Tony, no, sir. And they run to our neighbor's yard, and we hope she don't mind. She hasn't said anything negative, so <laughs> we got that roll of chicken wire. We could put it on the bottom. We could, at least halfway down. Maybe it'll keep it from going over there some. I don't think, so. well. There goes Weddle. There goes Blanco. It's Weddle, not Blanco. All right, let's go look at the front gate. The all the cats come out there always. They like to see the chickens play. They don't really go over there too bad. They just run like they're in such a hurry to run everywhere. It's like one little chick finds a worm or something, and they all run real fast to that same one. Hey, what you got? What you got? It's almost like uh, an Easter egg time when one little kid runs to an egg, and then everybody falls to that same egg. All right, let's go see the fence. <laughs> I don't know.
know what he was doing to that plant. Are we, are we on? Yes, we're on. All right, so you guys can tell. Uh, ooh, Tony Baloney. Starting to peel. Peel, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably start on that end, and then I'm going to pressure wash. Pressure wash it all, try to knock off any kind of loose paint. And then I'll, I brought a little bitty roller and a little brush. This 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 is going to be fun right here. Paint. That is going to be. Uh, all these little circles. Yeah. Maybe I should spray it. You have a sprayer. Yeah. Well, maybe just that part. Yeah, maybe just that. You part. can roll the the poles. Yes. Because he's worried about wasting paint. So. Yeah. Well, I, I bought a, a gallon of paint today, and it was fifty fifty dollars a gallon. For the rust -oleum? Yeah, for the rust -oleum. Yeah. You can tell right here, it's starting right here. Yeah. Least, well, even when I spray it, though, it's going to be like up in here. It's going to be hard to. Just going to be very time consuming. I just have to take my time. I'll probably. So, like I was saying, gonna maybe spray this part. I don't know. I will, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll start with the brushes and the rollers and see how productive I am first. If I'm very inefficient, maybe I'll bust out the sprayer. But like I said, the paint is extremely expensive. Well, it's pretty expensive. 50 bucks a gallon. So. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Well, that sun is heating up. Yes, it is. It's First rained. Rain it rained all day today, or all. It rained for several hours. And now with the sun. And now the humidity. sun's coming out. Woo! Oh. It's like you're in a sauna right now. Look at my little flowers are blooming though. I thought they died last summer. It got so hot, but look how pretty they look. Oh, there's a bee on them too. Yeah. Two bees. That's his, that's his best best I've ever seen that uh, yeah bloom. it looks beautiful I guess that six inches of rain we got last week helped a lot yes it looks real pretty yes it does all right all right let's go check on the meatloaf let's check the meatloaf I got a salad there's our meatloaf delicioso here you go Cut into it. Let's see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Very good. Looks good. We're going to sit here and enjoy. All right. We'll see y'all guys in a few minutes. All right. Let's see our babies right. go up. They're ready to eat. They're running. Ready, ready, ready. Come on, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Look at that wave. They're ready to eat. Tony? Come on. Come on, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Come on. Come on, ladies. They're hungry. <laughs> they Tony, come here. Come on, chicken. Come over here, Tony. Tony, they get a little bit confused when the door's not open back all the way. Tony? Tony's trying to herd him in. Oh, Blanco got confused. Come on. You got all 10 in there? I just got that last one in. Ready for their dinner. Turn it up now. <laughs> They're happy. Oh, a little fight there. Huh? A little fighting, huh? Yes. It's like octagon fights here. Robertson in there cleaning out the chicken water. He's going to fill up their water with fresh water. 
Cinco wants no part of that. She says, uh-uh, you boys keep on playing. I don't want no part of it. Ladies don't act like that. Tomas was really fighting back the other day. <laughs> oh, Tomas, come on, Tomas, don't let him bite your ears. Tomas, come on. Tony Soprano. <laughs> what are you beating up Tomas for? Why are you doing that to him? Poor Tomas. <laughs> Got a pretty sunset back there, huh? Mm hmm Well. Well. Um, we That's hope a... you guys had a fun time with us tonight, making meatloaf and hanging out with the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds silly, huh? That's our day, normal day. It's our making, normal. This is our normal afternoon. Making meatloaf and hanging out with chickens. I mean, nothing crazy. This is just our normal afternoon. Cooking dinner, watching the cats play, watching mm -hmm. the chickens eat. I think That's tomorrow it. I might start on my fence, see how that goes. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. Or maybe not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, huh? Tomorrow, maybe on Saturday. Maybe Saturday. Okay, we'll see you then. All right. I'm Tina. And I'm Rob. And, and we're, we're living, living off, off the hill. hill. Good night. Bye. Good night, y'all.